Howdy, everybody on YouTube. I'm going to make this a uh, video short, I hope, so you guys can enjoy this. And I'll give you a follow-up video on this uh, Honda that I did for my buddy. This is my buddy's car, and he brought it to me with some complaints with it. And he took it back and ended up having another issue with it. And I'm hopefully got everything fixed on it, hopefully, now. And it's ready for delivery. But the first and major complaint was this battery issue with the with the, the terminals here loose and he had problems with it not starting right and not working right well like i said before my short the, this is a side post battery it should not be in a honda hondas have top post battery but anyways i made a short video outlining the battery post in this thing with the uh positive and negative terminals on this thing the positive terminal was loose on this and couldn't be tightened any tighter had it all mashed up and foobard and had comments on well they ha he's got the wrong post on the wrong side there's a positive and negative the negative is pretty prime switch no that's not the case on this situation what these posts are right here these adapter posts that are on here are charging posts adapters you can tell by the little knob it's got a knob on each side right here and each one there's no positive negative they are char for charging purposes only they are both the same size so in a sense what you're doing is the same sizes of a negative which the negative is going to be tight on it and the positive is going to be loose on it because it's too small well what i've done to recommend uh remedy that since my friend can't afford to buy uh, a battery for it with all the other issues that's wrong with this car. So I just made do with what he had and what I could do with. So what I come up with was taking a negative battery terminal and putting on here to tighten it up. So that's how I remedied that situation with a negative, pop, a negative battery terminal connector. So now it's nice and tight, won't have no issues with it, fixed it cheap, so we can keep using this battery in here. Another issue is, with this uh, tape on this air intake, well, it's just going to have to be that way, because necessarily can't find these tubes very easily. This car's got 200, um, almost 260,000 miles on it, it's got 258,000 miles on it. So, looks like this has been done long time ago. I don't know how long ago it's been like that, but hey, it's it's working. It is what it is. So the other issue I had we had with it was the alternator wasn't charging right. It wasn't working. Here come to find out, somebody had messed with this thing before and has got this wire clipped in it. Right here. And it goes down to down in here. That's how I found the wire was clipped off. So one time or another somebody had an issue with this thing. And they clipped the wire on it. I didn't know what was wrong with it, but I ended up having to get a used alternator for this thing. Is a you know a brand new a new alternator for this thing's almost two hundred bucks. A reconditioned one you're looking at one hundred and fifty bucks or better or so around in there. So I just went ahead and got a used alternator for it, put it on, and now it's working just fine. Another problem was you had a leak. Valve cover was leaking on it. Car had 250, almost 260,000 miles on it. For sure, it's going to have a valve cover leak. So I got a valve cover gasket for it. There's the remnants of it. I did use a Felpro gasket. There's the remnants. So it's been done and changed and fixed. The other issues was this with this car was brakes. It needed brakes all around. So on the on the driver's front here, I ended up finding a ball joint bad. The upper ball joint was bad. So. New rotor pads and a ball joint on this side, on the front. Driver's rear has got new rotor and pads on it. Passenger front over here found that the, the uh, caliper was binding up. So it ended up getting a new hose on it. So I got new hose, rotor, and pads on it. The rear brake caliper now on the other hand had a leak in it so i had to replace the caliper on it with a rebuilt one got it fixed new uh rotor 
new pads, number fix, no more leaks on it. So, and another thing was the door lock is wasn't working. So I took the door lock assembly apart in it, door latch, everything. I pulled it out of the door, lubed it up good. I did a video on it. And uh, the lock still doesn't work on the driver's door, which is more than likely the electronic switch in the door is probably bad. So I'm not going to get one of them yet. So he doesn't, he wants to pay me for the job that I've done so far on it. Like I said, he, he you know, had some issues with it. He wanted to make a dependable car with it. And hopefully I, I drove it yesterday around and it drives pretty good. So hopefully this will keep him going for a while. I'll get a, a, a door lock switch for the door for him. We'll install that later on. And then his radio, oh yeah, another thing he had an issue with in this car was the radio. The radio doesn't work in it. Well, somewhere around another, whoever it was that had this car before in his life, since this one didn't work, they stuck another radio in here. An aftermarket radio, they stuck it down in here in the bottom. Now, his complaint is, all this is static. If you hear, there's no, it doesn't get no reception. Which I'm uh, leading to believe that Honda doesn't have an antenna on this car. So the antenna isn't hooked up. So I recommended to him was to find a aftermarket antenna, install it. Like one of them windshield aftermarket antennas, install it. So he can get reception on this radio. I checked the fuse on this. The fuse is good. But there's no power in it, so I have no clue and idea what's going on with that. So if anybody knows Hondas that watches this video, let me know. Let me know what you suggest of fixing on this. I have no clue, anything idea about these factory Honda radios. So, I should show you the mileage on this thing if I can see it. There you go. 258,835 miles on this thing. So there you go. It's a Honda. So with all the work I've done to this thing, getting back on the road, hopefully he has a good car to drive for the time being. And uh, he's he's got a Dodge Neon that I would keep working on. So hopefully this will replace his Neon. So yeah, guys, if you like this video on this Honda, give me that thumbs up. Give me some... Like, share, shout, comment, and subscribe. I really like the subscriptions I've got on the videos of this car. All, this, all the uh, views that I've gotten on that battery uh, one, that battery short that I did. And now I'm explaining it to you what I've done and the reasons behind it. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Chef Shade Tree, out.